So what I just used there was the uh, Ideal Insure uh, connectors. It's the three prong. Hey, it's John. When you do it in this video, we're gonna try to fix this outlet. Uh, every time this is you do it, plugs in a vacuum. It causes the outlet to uh, trip or lose power. So now uh, we're gonna take it apart. So now we need to inspect these wires here. Connectors here, so we'll create a pigtail with those. Um, so we just need two. Okay, so I'll bend this guy around. This will be for hooking up to the outlet. Right. Now we'll cut off a section for the pigtail. Okay, and then we'll insert that in here. I think. Yep. Oh. Okay, so that's part of the pigtail. Alright, so now we'll pop these guys out. Oh my god! Well, this does not want to come out. There we go. Alright, now we can work on our pigtails. This will be for our outlet, so we'll give it a little loop, and then we'll do this guy here, trim him back. Alright, so then this will be for this guy, we got this guy, and we got this guy. Here we go, so there's our pigtail for our neutrals. And we need our pigtail for our hot. Okay, so we got one and two. Good, okay, so that's done. All right, so let's hook up our pigtail here. Really need my needle nose here. There we go. Got a good squeeze on that. Tighten this up. So if you want to remember which side is hot and which side is neutral, the bigger side is always white. Same side. Jump. Okay, so now let's put it down there. Let's make sure that's tight and then we'll double check this. Oh, this guy was loose. Okay, it's a good thing we checked it. stuff our wires in here but first I'm going to tape them up. So what I just used there was the uh, Ideal Insure uh, connectors. It's the three prong uh, connector so it's a push connect. And that's what I made my pigtail from. I'm going to tape this up a little bit just to give some added insulation Same thing here. Okay, we got the black 
big wire here. Just tape him up a little bit. And now we're gonna test it with this uh, electrical tester. I have two brand, I have two electrical testers from different brands. So this one is Sperry Instruments and this one is Commercial Electric. So we'll plug both of them in. So there's the Commercial Electric and that shows that they are correct wiring. And this is MS102H for the model number and it is ETL certified. This one here is Sperry Instruments. And you can see that when I plug it into both, uh, shows the same pattern that is correct. And this is UL listed, so Sperry Instruments. So yeah, you get an electrical tester, but make sure it's uh, UL listed or ETL listed. And then you can verify your outlets are wired correctly because it's really important, especially with GFI.